Welcome back to Let's Play Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. We're headed off to Herbology class. I'm your host with Pulsation, and we're learning Incendio. Kind of a cute Professor Sprout. Observe the correct incendio symbol. Hold down the mouse ah, and yeah, see that's a little, a little trickier than, than a W. Alrighty. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm not really trying on this one. Can get a feel for it, you know. Incendio! Mm hmm. hmm. Not bad for not really trying. If I do say so myself. Yeah. Pretty outstanding. All right. Five points. Thank you very much. Alrighty. Hmm. Why is the first spell she's teaching us in herbology? That is an outstanding incendio, a fire a spell. Ten points for Gryffindor. Try to go she does award points pretty cutely. Yeah, it's definitely a fire spell. You get a fire symbol. Um, I mean, I know, like. There are lots of dangerous magical plants, and we have to control them, but do you really want us burning everything down? Ooh, 94. Okay. Do it for the last one, then. Alrighty. Alright. Ah. Ah. Oh, geez, I'm gonna run out of time. Oh. oh. You're not gonna make it. It's when I, it's when I tried too That's hard so that I lost. Mark, it's usually happens to me. It's worth it to hear say that, though. Now it's All right, time another challenge area, challenge. another spell. Through the doors, Mr. Potter. I'll watch you from the back. Hmm. It, I just realized it's like with all the other teachers, she's going to like guide me through this and then just leave Things all the other students in the classroom. You may cast incendio I mean like, but step back she, I guess she sends us in like one at a time, like an obstacle course sort of thing. I'm gonna back up on these. Um, yep. It's pretty easy to avoid when you're far back enough. Oh, no? Ah, no? Not gonna pull over on me. No, sir. And we're just looking out for one wizard card, and presumably in that one secret area. Oh, and they'll get sh shoot at you if you get too close, too. So, um, can't just worry about bumping into him. Oh, yeah, there's one first. Yeah. That one being, but not too bad. Um, so, I'm gonna be a little careful, but since we're just looking for one, this is a typical um, species I think it's gonna be tentacular. pretty obvious which, which one that is. Uh, that's what they're called. The venomous tentacula. Oh, so that's what that, that guy the who turned purple eight. Away you go. And we wilted it? I know it's, it's venomous and, like, dangerous and stuff, but... Oh, yeah. A little bit of damage when they poke in. Just standing in the direct line of fire. But like, I know there's spiky bushes and, and venomous tentacula, but is that really like the best thing to teach a student in the first thing about herbology? Which I understand is like learning about and caring for plants. I mean, I understand, like, the makers of the game had to make this, like, more exciting than potting things. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just, this is more like defense against the dark plants. Yeah, I'll be here all week. And... Oh. Yeah, it's interesting that they have three different textures for chests. When the dip, like, it doesn't make any difference 
what they are. They have the wooden one, they have the, uh, the bronze one, and the, uh, the dark uh, metal one. Yeah, I don't know. But just beans, beans, beans. Lots of beans. Um, I know the first two cards that we got from Fred and George were, um, 25, but I'm feeling they might go up in price. Whoop! Oh, good thing I wasn't standing right before that. What happened? Um, oh yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. Hang on to your, your wands. Oh, I have the little more symbol, but shot the end up. It's, it's interesting, like, they put that much time into animating this one secret area. And I love the air. Oh, it's got gnomes in it, though. But look at this. This is a really beautiful little spot. It's got, like, a brook and a little bridge and trees. Oh, and there's the card. There, there, where there, that's where the tree went. Pick this up. But I, like, and you can see it's got... Um, per, as presumably Professor Sprout's desk. So this is probably like where she goes away to like have some quiet time. Let's see if we can sit on this. No, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it's a really nice view. I know it's like there's a little like potentially claustrophobic space, but I think that's really nice. Like, if that if I were a magical Herbology teacher. Uh, I would have a, a similar hidey hole. Oh no! That looks like a the poor twee. Ouch! Ah, Doxy. That's like a an asshole fairy, right? Yeah. Doesn't look too nice. But that was another student. That must mean like she's sending us in. Uh, uh, no, aggr no, um, aggregated um, with with space in between. <laughs> no. And we'll just hit all five of you there. Ooh, look at that. And the uh, tree will very nicely thank us for our good doing. And we actually need this chocolate frog, so that's nice. Um. Alright, and grab a chalice to her, and of course more beans. Very conveniently shaped, uh, grow- ooh, that was close. Gross on the branches. I don't want to find out what happens when you jump in the vines, because I don't want to go back to the safe spot. It might just hurt you, but... Eh, don't need to risk it. Ooh, hello! Gotcha. Oh, and does a little huh, somersault there. Do they... Yep, they just disappear. We, uh... See, the gnomes, like, they fall down when you hit them. I think we just, like, killed and made disappear three magical creatures. Hmm, it's not, it's not too good. You know. Alright. And we'll have past this guy here. Nope. Okay. Can't hit him, so yeah, we'll just... Jump past him. You can hit this guy though. Yep, there we go. And yeah, the, these guys are bigger, so they're just temporarily, um, ooh, ouch. temporarily stunned. <laughs> it's a tree elevator. What will they think of next? Oh, and I think we're. Yeah, it's, this looks like where we're supposed to go next. But they put the air on the other side. So, a little weird. And what did that do? Oh, that's what that did. This guy, hop down to it. There we go. And continue on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, can they not get by this? That'd be really cool. Yeah, they're stuck. Thank you, programming 
separate, separate room there. You know, whatever you call it. Uh, get all these guys. First. Looks like these uh, dried up plants need some water. The first door that opened was going to be the way to exit, but I guess it's just another part of this area. Yep. Alright. W blocks! And of course, cauldrons. In the... In the greenhouse. It's a good place to have them. Oh, it's not going to quite reach, is it? No, it's not. Alright, we'll slide up really close to these guys so we can actually get them on there. Hmm, that's cool. Piston action. So, presumably that's a gray column of water that we're activating the pistons to pump onto the plants. Which, we are- yeah, there it goes. We are using magic to move the blocks onto the pistons. But... Shouldn't it just be, like, all magic controlled? I thought they didn't need, like, mechanisms like this. You know? Yeah, what do I know? Alrighty. This room seems done. 